We escaped major weather-related power outages in our area just after the new year began, but Oregon and a large portion of Central California were not so lucky. Tacoma Power Crews, along with utilities from across the West, traveled hundreds of miles to lend a hand. Here's more from John Phillips. Crews from Tacoma Power went into storm mode in mid-January, but not because of widespread power outages here. A caravan of Tacoma Power bucket trucks with 17 line electricians trekked 750 miles into central California, where torrential rains and wind had left thousands of people without power. Oh, no, the ground was really wet, so it was saturated. Wind blew really hard and it blew the trees over, which would in turn take the wire down. If we were lucky, it'd just be the wire. Anticipating even more storm damage, Pacific Gas and Electric asked utilities from around the region to drive in and bring power back to a vast rural swath of the Golden State. Tacoma Power joined crews from Oregon, Arizona, and Southern California to repair poles and power lines. The emergency response is part of a program among utilities that are overwhelmed by a disaster that's larger than they can handle in a reasonable amount of time. It's a mutual aid agreement. They all signed up on it, and it's just for instances like this, where if we get too much work, more than what we can handle, then we'll request the same. Crew wages and travel expenses are paid for by the utility that requests help. With no storms looming here, Tacoma Power decided it could spare some of its crews for California's emergency. It's like neighbor helping neighbor. Someday we may need them to return the favor. For Tacoma Report, I'm John Phillips.